No, I just really appreciate everybody coming out tonight to supporting the, um, the event with Ramona Bessinger on behalf of the Forgotten Taxpayers. Thank you. My name is Clay Johnson. I'm the treasurer of the Forgotten Taxpayers and we're looking forward to making sure there's people on the school committee that are worried about our kids' success in life and not uh, ideology and, and teaching them politics. This, this was enlightening. I, I learned a lot about uh, some con very concerning things going on in our schools. Remember to vote 290 days. Well, we had a brave woman who has been uh, protested against, harassed for speaking the truth, what she's seeing in uh, public school education throughout Rhode Island. She has firsthand knowledge, she's a whistleblower, and she's brave, and we need, you know, many, many more Ramona Bessingers to speak out and, uh, you know, um, advocate for the children and ed educate parents about what their kids are learning in school. We pay the bills. So whether you're a parent that has four kids in the system or a taxpayer that has no kids in the public school system, we have a, um, a stake in really what uh, is being taught to the kids in school. So as taxpayers, we should have the right to um, demand transparency, results uh, in the public school system. I am Justin Price. I'm here for the uh, education about the education system, which was uh, was pretty enlightening and certainly needs to be addressed in the in like was said in the meeting tonight that we need to stick up for the children and that's uh, what has to happen. So. Elaine Morgan, I am the senator for District 34, which encompasses Hopkinton, Richmond, Exeter, West Greenwich, and Charlestown. I am trying to enlighten people to what is happening in schools. And Ramona and I have been working since she anonymously contacted me when she, she saw what was going on in her schools. So she is the one who started me on the role of trying to inform parents and just the community of what's going on in schools. So um, we have to be vigilant and we have to speak out because this is pure Marxism, communism, that they're trying to encompass into all of our, all of our schools. And if you've watched the video of Ramona, her presentation, she's, there's everything she says in there. I've, I've had teachers come to me confidentially and tell me this. They don't want to use their names because they'll be outed, they'll lose their jobs. We, me as an elected official, I have to expose that. I have to tell the parents. And a lot of them don't even know what's going on in their schools. So that's my journey right now. Hi, I'm Helen Sheehan. I'm a resident of Richmond. I am on the town council, but I'm not speaking as a town council member. Um, everybody knows I've been very concerned about the changes in the schools with the sexualization of children. I think, believe that many of the teachers don't like it, but my big concern is that children are becoming, they're very vulnerable. So to tell them that they can be he, she, it, they, them, this, all those things, that it is harmful to the children. And many people don't know that that is actually happening in the schools. So tonight, Ramona Bessinger came and showed us actual lesson plans that really prove what's happening in the schools. I, things need to change, and I guess I'm going to keep talking about this and hoping to move things in the right direction for the children. Thank you. And Atlanta from Rhode Island Turning Point. Because Ramona's story is one that needs to be heard. Uh, it's a word of cautious. I went to a Catholic school, and you would think from a private Catholic school that the liberal indoctrination wouldn't be there, but it was actually more prevalent. Um, and we need more people like Ramona to speak out. I learned a lot of new things today, like how to actually get the information where the, uh, what the school committees are doing and how to uh, access the information. If you're a parent or grandparent, I would advise you to check up with your superintendent to see what your kids and grandkids are learning because 
the liberal indoctrination is just, it's insidious and it, it's truly rooted in pure, indoctrinated evil. I am the chapter chair of the Washington County Moms for Liberty. I am here to support my friend Ramona and also to learn because every time she speaks I always learn and I'm encouraged to stand more for the children of our country and to fight for them and for parental rights. <laughs> Like I said, I just felt more encouraged. Ramona is incredible. She's very clear and concise. She knows what she's talking about. And I felt a great energy too from the people who were here today to watch and to learn. And I felt like we all learned something and were emboldened. And for your children, because they're the future of our country and we depend on it.